Why isn't it? There we go. All right. Grandma has got some of her grandsons here today to help me with this story. Because we're reading a story called The Wisdom of Solomon. One night after King Solomon, the son of David, had offered sacrifices, the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Knowing that Solomon had an honest heart, the Lord said, What is thy desire, Solomon? And I shall give it to thee. What do you think Solomon asked for? Um, well, as well, I would think that most kings would ask for them like a long life, um, something like riches to be able to like have, have a kingdom that's long and prosperous, but I'm guessing enough. Solomon asks for something better instead of just kind of, kind of selfish. Yeah. That's something that's for the good of everyone. Yeah, good answer. Because that's I mean, this is a... Now, if the Lord came to you in a dream that night and asked you what you wanted, what do you think you might ask for? Um... I will probably be clever with it, and I would ask for the for the ability to grant my own wishes. So I'd get everything. Ah, <laughs> how about you, Benjamin? Probably do the same as mine. Just say, just... yeah, give me more wishes. How about you, Alexander? What if the Lord came to you in a dream and asked you what you wanted? What would you say? <laughs> Okay, well, let's see what Solomon said. Solomon told the Lord that being the king of the chosen people was very difficult. He said he felt like a little child who did not know what to do. His people were so numerous that they could not even be counted. That's a lot of people if you can't count them. Humbly, Solomon asked the Lord, give thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people so that I may discern or tell the difference between good and bad. Because back in those days, kings were judges too, right? Solomon had not asked for selfish things like riches or long life or victory over his enemies. He had asked for a blessing to make him a good leader. The Lord was pleased with Solomon and answered, Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart. Over the years, Solomon became famous for his wisdom. During his reign over the Israelites, he created over 4,000 songs and proverbs. That's a lot of songs and proverbs. Kings and queens from all over the world came to hear Solomon and receive his counsel and advice. One day, two women came and stood before him. They had a serious disagreement. They lived together in the same house, and each had given birth to a baby. During the night, the baby of one woman died. She took the dead child and placed him in the arms of the other mother who was sleeping. Then she took the living child and pretended it was her baby. In the morning, when the real mother saw the dead child in her arms, she knew it was not hers and recognized the living child as her own. You think your mother would recognize her own baby? Yeah. Of course. She went to the first woman and said, you have my baby. And the woman replied, no, the living child is my son. The dead one is yours. The real mother cried, no, the dead child is thine and the living is mine. Unable to settle the argument, they asked Solomon to decide who the mother of the living child was. Wise King Solomon turned to his servant and commanded, bring me a sword. What do you think he wants a sword for? When the sword was brought, the king commanded, divide the living child in two and give half to one woman and half to the other. What would happen if you divide the baby in half with a sword? Ooh. Yeah, is it going to be a living baby very long? Uh -uh. The real mother's heart ached 
she could not let her precious little baby divided, be divided in two. She cried to the king, oh, my Lord, give her the living child and in no wise slay it. But the other woman said, let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Ooh, that's not very nice, was it? Yes. King Solomon knew the real mother would never allow her baby to be divided in half. He now knew which was the living child's real mother. And he said, give her the living child and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. All of Israel heard of Solomon's judgment. He was respected as their king because of the great wisdom and understanding he had been given by the Lord. And there's the picture of Solomon with the sword and the two women. I'm pretty sure um, actually the one on the right looks like the real mother because she's actually carrying a the sword, or the other one is like whatever. Uh, I, I agree. I think that's probably right. Because a real mother would never want her baby to be hurt. They gave Solomon the nickname uh, Solomon the Lion. That's right. Well, just that's right. Like that. As a yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story. And now when you go home and you listen to this story, you'll get to see yourselves on TV if, if too. Yes, if you're us. Well, yeah. even other people can see you too. Like when your cousins watch it, they'll see you too. Yes, and maybe, just maybe, they actually might well come over and be able to review. And yeah. That could be something every once in a while. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Well, remember, Grandma loves you. Bye.